folks at home welcome back to the backyard bass pond i hope you all are having a good labor day we had a dove show up here and drink out of the pond this morning so that's got to be a good sign we got a lot of cool things coming up we're going to be stocking the pond with golden shiners here later in the video we also have some minna trap tests for moby i know you guys are going to enjoy that and we got our five baby ninja turtles we're going to be checking in on as well so let's just go ahead and jump right into it we got a delivery it's shad saturday all right let's go check them out that baby Sarah gonna help us load them. Fresh box of 800 to 1,000 golden shiners. Time to put them in a pond. So y'all probably seen these shipments of shiners before on the channel, but Liz is gonna explain what we do. All right, so first I take them out of the first bag because there's actually ice packs between these two bags to keep the shiners cool. So I've got that separated. Now I want to show you right here, this is the separator that I made because so many of the minnows were getting pulled into the suction here. The intake filter. And it's so working out really well. It keeps them all over here on this side. All right, so now, let's bad boys. Put them in here for 20 minutes. Set my all timer. Right. Half a minute for 20 minutes, and then you're gonna be the net girl. All right, we're about ready to put them in. Bonnie and Clyde are about to have a feast. And a couple of these bluegills. There's a decent sized bluegill right there. You can tell Bonnie's hungry. She's out on the prowl. We timed it perfect. They just got done finishing off the last of their shiners. I'm ready for a restocking. You can see there's just a few left. All right, we're about to drop a couple in to see if we, who all is interested in eating. Yeah, um, top water. I'm stunned. Yep. Bluegill's out. Bonnie's back. See, you have a dead one every now and again, and uh, we don't mind because we got Shadow in there. He'll eat dead or alive. All right, let's see what a what size these golden shiners are. Oh, size. Yeah, those are some patties. All right, Bonnie, Clyde, time to eat up. That is a lot of bait. So you guys want to talk about a high food bill. These fish, and just in this pond alone, eat about 600 to 700 golden shiners every two weeks during the summertime. So that costs roughly about 100 bucks. Feeding these fish is expensive. All right, it's time to check in on the Ninja Turtles. And it's pretty cool because most of their lives, they've been pretty skittish and they wouldn't really come around us. But now that they know what feeding time is, and especially this time of day, whenever it starts to get dark out and we walk around the tank, they'll come right up to us and you can get a really good look at them. And you'll see here that most of the four, the core four of Ninja Turtles hang out together and then Splinter will always be off on his own. But we're going to feed them some krill today and some baby turtle pellets. You can see the four ninja turtles are here. And then Splinter will finally get out of his comfort zone and come out. He's a little bit shy. But guys, I want you to help us come up with some ideas for things we can do with these turtles while they're still small and in this tank. Because eventually they're going to get bigger. We're going to put them outdoors. We're going to build a pond for them. We're not going to be able to see them on a day-to-day -day basis like we are now. And one idea that I've come up with is we're going to have a Ninja Turtle race. This is going to be coming up in the next video. I'm going to give you all the details here. I may even show you, give you a little sneak peek of the racetrack that I'm building for them. But it should be pretty cool. But leave ideas like that down in the comments below on things you would like to see. Because I'd say we got, you know, maybe five or six more months while they're still this small. And then we're going to be moving them outside. And if this is the first time you're seeing these turtles, we think they're yellow belly sliders. And the reason I'm not 100% certain is because we rescued these turtles. The mom buried the eggs right beside a highway and a mailman told us about it. So we went and rescued them, kept them for about eight weeks, hatched them. And we're guessing just by the way they look now, they're yellow belly sliders. All right, folks, this is a sneak peek into the Ninja Turtle racetrack that I'm building for next week's video. But the reason I'm showing you this now is because we're gonna have a big giveaway and what's gonna happen is we're gonna race each turtle. They're each gonna have their own lane and also Master Splinter down here on the end. But what I want you guys to do is comment down below on which turtle you think's gonna win the race. 
and also how long you think it'll take them to get from right here down across the finish line and whoever picks the right turtle and the closest time we're going to do a huge giveaway so leave those comments down below you'll see the finished racetrack in next week's video all right if you're new to the channel this is our 300 gallon aquarium with the most vicious bass moby in it and a little over a year ago we did a test when we had our other pets in it we had bonnie clyde and sheriff in here and we dropped a minnow tank right here and we wanted to see if any of the bass or bluegill could break into the minnow tank We'll see if he's even trying to get them while they're up on the tank. Look at that. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Sheriff, you're a savage, buddy. goodness sheriff got trapped in the tank i gotta get him out now so while i was going back looking at this old footage of sheriff i saw this clip of moby look at how tiny moby was this was right after we caught him out of the delta and man it's hard to believe that he was this size and now he's this size but i'm going to show you one of the first minnows that we ever fed him i'm going to run that clip really quick and then we're going to move into our minnow trap experiment go He hid down there in the back. There he is. Oh, he tried to get him. He got him. So we've decided to do part two of that experiment. We're gonna see if Moby, the aggressor, can get inside of that same exact tank. We also have a plan B if that doesn't work out. We got a little bit different variable this time around, but we're just gonna go ahead and roll with the minnow tank dropping in right here. All right, so here's our trap. We basically just have a little hermit crab trap right here. We're gonna put some weights down on the bottom to make it sink. We'll have golden shiners in there. And after a certain amount of time, I'll lift this lid with a little piece of fluorocarbon. And we're gonna see if he can break Sheriff's time of breaking into the bait well. Look at Moby, he's ready. We ain't even got everything set up yet. He knows there's some food coming right above him. Bowie's about to eat my hand off, just getting this lid off the top here. Gosh. All right, it is showtime. We got the tank set up down there. I got a little string wrapped around this little camera right here that's on. And I'm gonna drop it down, let it go to the bottom. Moby's got maybe a minute to get into it and then we'll pop the top and see what happens. Oh, so the trap is set. Somehow one escaped. Oh, Moby found him quick. One escaped out the top somehow. Now Moby's found him. He's angry. Oh, it's probably not going to take him long at all. So I'm going to give him about 40 more seconds and then we'll release the top on it. Sheriff found a way into the tank. I'm definitely anxious to see if Moby can use some street smarts. Oh, he got one somehow. They're escaping. Alright, here we go. I'm going to grab the string, pop the lid open. Alright, lid's off. Moby was checking it out. He's on and well, we can't figure it out, but he's definitely excited. Look at him. Look at that top fin. He's on the prowl. Oh, he's pushing him to the surface. Uh-oh. 
One came out the top. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, well, he's letting them slide. He's guarding the others. That one's over there. We're going to leave him for now. Moby's still guarding the tank. Uh-oh. He got out. Don't do it. Looks like Moby's got a bead on him. He's gone. He missed him. He's live. Three. Oh, he didn't survive. Moby got him. All right, introducing a hamster ball. Uh-oh, he can definitely see them. So Moby, it's up to you. He said, nope. Not taking part in any experiment today. I've already caught on that I gotta work for my food and I'm not happy about it. It's pretty cool though how that hamster wheel just kind of floats around like a balloon in the tank. Oh, nobody sees him. Oh, he's getting angry. Moby's definitely more interested in the ball. It's like he's trying to figure out a way to get in it as to where this other tank, he really never really tried to get in it. He just hit at it a couple times, but I think it's because he can see that he's swimming a little better. Oh, he's definitely getting angry with it. So folks, leave a comment down below if you like these type of challenges or if you want to see us do something different, maybe with some crawfish or something else. But that is going to wrap this one up. So I'm going to free all of these minnows into the backyard pond. Man, it's a nice sunset out here this evening. Hope you all had a good Labor Day off. But like I said, it's time to free these guys. So we're going to drop them in there. And there's hundreds of other golden shiners down there right now. So there's a good chance they will survive. But it's such a nice evening out here. I think I'm going to spend the rest of my Labor Day out here by the bass pond. But be sure to leave a comment down below on who you think is going to win that turtle race next week and what time they're going to win it in. We hope you all enjoyed the video and we'll see you all next time. Bonnie and Clyde were pretty looking people, but I can tell you people they were the devil's children.